Good morning. To me, like 10 o'clock. Ah, kind of starts the afternoon. Ah, what happened to your ball? Adam, Deja, and I <laughs> have a busy morning ahead of us. We are first going to vote. I'm going to vote. And we are going to title. <laughs> um, I'm going to vote first. Voting polls open at 7 a.m. Today's the last day for early voting. So 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. I just need my ID. You know how you can know you have something but since it's like a complete necessity, we just want to make sure. So we're going to vote, then we're going to H&M to make a return. Um, I got my favorite sweatshirts, um, but I got them in a medium in store when I, the one that I own is a large and I really like how it fits, it fits very oversized, it's already an oversized sweatshirt. The large fits even more oversized, <clears throat> of course. Um, it like covers my butt comfortably. It's just cozy and I just love it. So I went to go get it in any other color that they had, which I thought they only had black and gray. And in store they did only have black and gray and they actually, the largest size they had in there was medium, which is my regular size. So I went on and got those to try them, but they weren't quite it. Like, they were cute, like for jeans. Um, but no, I wanted like the cozy, cozy feel. So um, I want the largest, so I went online and I found the largest. And I actually also found this beautiful, bright blue color that they sell online too. So I got the large in black, gray, and the, this like cobalt blue. I think it would be considered cobalt blue. To me, cobalt blue is a little darker than what this shade is, but it, I think they call it cobalt blue. So, I ordered those three, and they will be shipped to the house. So, I'm taking the two that I got back. Uh, the two that I got in store back to the store.
we're gonna book it over to the post office because I have another crash break sale. So I shared my closet yesterday. I hadn't shared it, I think it said in like 40 days. Before that, I hadn't shared it in like 200 plus days. Like a long time. So I shared my closet. Um, I each item in my closet the other day. The videos that I watched say that when people are searching Poshmark, the items that come up first are the most recently shared items. So sharing your closet a lot is really how you get sales and those things have changed. I really enjoy the thrill of like selling things, like making money off of um, fashion and beauty. Creative things like art and stuff like that. So that's what's going on with us today. This afternoon, we're just gonna play and learn. I need to wash. I'm going to wash Autumn's hair. I'm gonna wash her hair and file her nails, and then we'll play. Her. I have to wash her hair and file her nails. I didn't do it yesterday because she woke up very upset from her nap. I think. I mean, she's getting like you can see that she's getting her molars and stuff. Since I couldn't find cellophane bags, it's like a 
kind of like rectangular shaped Ziploc bags and I bought some little golden-ish streamers to like the crinkle paper to go at the bottom of the little bags of each little bag I bought a few assortments of cookies and I'm gonna wrap the cookies in cling wrap then I'll wear gloves or wash my hands you know right before I start putting them together just keep it very safe for the hands cling wrap into the plastic bag and I'm gonna get these little I'm gonna print um, little tags that say congratulations on a great season and staple them to each bag. We're going to H&M now to make the return. Autumn is about done with getting in and out. I am so hungry. I'm getting tired too. I plan to do laundry while I'm asleep. Everything is going smoothly and quickly. What time is it now? 12 o'clock on the dot. We need to go to the post office. It's just a few minutes past our house. It's gonna take us probably about 20 minutes to get there. I wonder if there's one closer to over here. Let me check on that, I'll be right back. Well, anyway, my service is so bad here that it's going to take more time to just pull one up. So, I know of a couple of UPS places, but I really don't know of a post office nearby off the top of my head. So, I'm going to stick to what we know and go over to the one nearest our house. So, and hopefully being in there won't take longer than 30 minutes it shouldn't um and then we will go home we need to just be home by one o'clock and it will be lunchtime and that time so i did get wendy's fries i've already devoured them but we were going to h&m and i haven't been vlogging inside of the stores just because it's been just really quick visits and nothing super special. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, when I do get home, I will show you guys what Adam is having for lunch. And then we're gonna do some laundry. So that's what we're doing. Um, I will pop back one in a minute and let y'all know how the post office went. See you then. It's 12.35 and we are headed home. The uh, There was actually no one in the post office when I got there. Two people did come while I was there, but that's it. Went very fast. The woman who works there is so nice every single time I go in there. She's wonderful. Leaving here now and we should be home in 10 minutes. And then we will eat lunch. Actually, I don't want lunch. I can wait until she's done for her nap because I um, have my french fries and grape soda, by the way. I do always have water. I'm, like, I'm a water drinker, a big water drinker. Actually, not usually a soda drinker. But it's just been during pregnancy that I've been loving some soda. I don't even have it every day, but I have it more often than I do under normal circumstances. 
are back home. Adam is eating her lunch. She's having some chicken, vegetables, grapes, and blueberries with yogurt on them. This is like a typical lunch for her. Um, usually two fruits, a vegetable and a protein, some kind of dairy, just to keep it all balanced. Um, I am just having some lemon water right now. Um, I'm not gonna record too long right now because she's watching her um, YouTube show, Akili and Me. I'm not sure if like I can have that in the background, so I don't have it on right now, which is probably helping her eat faster, so that's perfectly fine too. <laughs> um, so once she goes to sleep, I'm gonna do some laundry, like uh, fold up some laundry. I actually, right now while she's eating, could take this time to take pictures of my two cameras because I want to sell my two Canon cameras that I have. And I would like to get the Sony G7X from the sale of these two cameras. And hopefully I'll have some profit left over as well. Cause the G7X is a cheaper camera than the Canon EOS. Um, and then I also have the Canon T3, I believe it is. And it's more expensive than that one, but the sale of, the, of both cameras um, should give me enough to purchase the one that I think will be better for the way that I want to film and um, also, you know, give me some additional profit in the bank account too. So I think I'm going to do that while she eats, even though it looks like she's getting ready to demolish her meal. I'll at least start with the pictures and then, um, like I said, when she goes down, I'm gonna do laundry. So yeah, I'll show y'all all that. We'll be back in a minute. often under normal circumstances but I'm eating it today um it is a craving seems like ice cream is this week and last week's craving so my husband got me pecan pralines and cream and he also got us Christmas cookies have y'all had the Christmas cookies ice cream it's so good um, I'll probably have the Christmas cookies tonight, but I've been eating the pecan pralines and cream the last few days. And that's what I'm gonna have right now. So I'm just gonna take a load off for a little bit, eat some ice cream, and then um, I'm gonna fold some, some clothes. And then I'm gonna come back and finish taking pictures of my cameras. I took a really good video um, showing everything that this that I'm selling along with this camera. Like, you know, all the items that come in the set. And so I just need pictures and then to do a video of the other camera. That part won't take long. What's gonna be slightly more tedious is um, giving all the information about the cameras on the listings. Because I want to do it, you know, to where people know exactly what they're getting. I kind of want to make it look like the listings that you would see like on Best Buy and all that. So that's where the time is going to come in. But anyway, I'm about to enjoy my ice cream and I will be back. All right, y'all, it's 3.20 now. 
I was watching YouTube and I ate nothing but ice cream for lunch. <laughs> um, I did just go ahead and get up and finish off my um, taking my videos and pictures of the cameras. So that's done. So that's good. And now I have this very large um, pile of clothes to fold. So I'm going to sit here, drink more lemon water. Um, it's 3.20, I think I said that, 3.21 now. Autumn is still sleeping. She might sleep for another 30 minutes, we'll see. But I'm just gonna sit here, find something else to watch. Hopefully, my YouTube has been real dry. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm about to do. <laughs> I did get the clothes folded and kind of organized in the way that I'll be putting them up. Those that are just kind of hanging, I mean that are just laying across there, are going to be hung in the closet. Autumn is awake. She's been up for probably about 15 minutes. It's a little bit after 4. She's been up since probably like 3.45 or so. Just kind of laying in the bed still rolling around. I'm about to go get her and we're going to start the second half of our day. Hi, Hi, baby. How you doing? Hi, Say I'm fussing, I don't even really know why. <laughs> Ready? Let's roll. <laughs> we are in the play area now. Miss Autumn Girl is just gonna run around and play. We're gonna play together. Probably gonna do some learning. She loves her charts. Got charts and toys and toys and flashcards and books and all kinds of things. So we're just gonna play and learn for a little while. <laughs> you ready? Ready, baby? Here we go. A, B, C, <laughs> D, E, F, G, H. I, J, K, L, M. Horse. One horse. Two cows. What sound does the cow make? Moo. <laughs> Two cows. Three pigs. Oink, oink, oink. Oink, oink, oink. Four turtles, like Tobias. You gonna point? Four turtles like to bias. Five rabbits. What do rabbits do? Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. <laughs> You're so cute. Six chickens. Cluck, 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 cluck. Six chickens. <laughs> I 
Jasmine's having her after nap smoothie. She loves that. It's her snack after her nap every day. And we're just playing. Playing and learning. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your toenails are so long. Uh, <laughs> hi, Brooklyn. Say hi. Say hi. Hi, hi baby. Can I kiss? You're pulling mama's hair. Oh, no. Hey, mama. <laughs> So while she's doing that, since those things occupy her a lot, I'm going to try and clean up a little bit. I don't always try to clean up as we go because a lot of times it's just pointless. And it literally takes me maybe like five minutes to get it back intact. Um, but she's gonna be dealing with those for a while. So she will probably not become interested in whatever I clean up. Cause that's usually what happens. She becomes interested in whatever I'm cleaning up and just comes and, you know, plays with it more. So that's what I'm gonna do, try to clean up a little bit. She's watching what I'm doing. <laughs> you laughing too? Yeah, so she became interested in what I was picking up. So now she's going to the numbers. So not gonna worry about it. One thing is I brought all of her, well, the majority of her toys up here. She's got, actually, she still has a lot of toys in um, the playpen downstairs. But that's the only area that she has toys downstairs is in the playpen. It used to be that the main area that we would play in was the living room. And we would set up the barricade, right? Like put pillows down to where she can't get out of there. The furniture is rearranged in a way where she can't couldn't easily get out of there. But I found that once we started playing downstairs and upstairs, both areas were getting dirty. And um, not dirty, but you know, becoming like filled with toys like this area is right now. And so now most of our playing and all of our learning and stuff, well, most of our playing and learning happens up here. And so that way, when this space gets like this, there's only one space to clean, you know, at the end of the day, it takes five to 10 minutes, like I said, um, to pick it all up and put it where it belongs because everything has a home. I just put it back in its home and everywhere else in the house stays tidy and presentable. 
the playpen itself kind of gets like crazy um, in the playpen because obviously, uh, you know, when she's playing with the toys, they get disorganized and just kind of everywhere. But I do at least now have them divided up to where I can put like one basket of a certain kind of toy or whatever in there with her. So she has a basket of books that I'll put in there in the playpen. I literally just divided it up like this yesterday. Um, she has like a little pail of knickknacks that she can just pull out and everything's different. She can play with that. She's been having that pail. Um, <laughs> she thinks I'm talking to her, so <laughs> she's coming <laughs> to talk to her. <laughs> she laughs when I But um so she has that thing of knickknacks and she also has one of like the stackables. She's got a stackable up here, she's got two downstairs, and like just other medium sized toys, I'll say. Um all the ones that make noise, have buttons she can push, stackables, whatever the case. And then there's another pail of like stuffed animals. So there's four down there in the playpen and I can like take two of them out and that way she'll like focus on the books that she has in there or cause she really likes to look at books. Um, and she can focus on the stack of or whatever. And that way the playpen even doesn't get so like out of control. Cause it was to the point where all the toys would be out. And she's messing with the, um, the tripod right now so. That might be, sorry if it's a little shaky. But anyway, um, okay, baby. Um, that's good. Come here. Come show me what kind of tea you want. Come show me what kind of tea you want. She moved on to something else. So, um, but yeah, that's what's, I forgot the last thing that I was saying. Like pregnancy brain, for real. And mom brain all the one time. <laughs> So anyway, um, today is hair washing day. Well, actually yesterday was, but she's teething. She's getting her molars on the sides. I can see them coming in. One is actually completely out. Another one is coming in. The two in the very back are completely out. So every now and then, I would say maybe like once a week is causing her to um, like have trouble, you know, to really like be upset about it. So yesterday when she woke up from her nap, she was crying, really upset, drooling a lot. I gave her Tylenol and some things to chew on and all of that stuff. And um, so I didn't bother washing her hair because she still is in that phase where she absolutely hates it. I believe she'll grow out of that. Um, and then as they get older, you know, you can kind of curate the experience for them. Like tell them, oh, we're gonna get ice cream after this or a popsicle after this or you know, something like that. But right now, she's just at the age where she just doesn't like it. But it's got to be done. Um, it's been working out really well washing her hair once a week. For a while, I was kind of avoiding it sometimes, you know, because, like, clearly I'll still wet it and put product in it and stuff. But I was avoiding a once a week wash day because of how much she hates it. But I've noticed, like, brushing her teeth, even though she she was really not loving that either, the more I've done it, um, the last couple of days, she's kind of tried to do it herself and will allow me to do it with, without nearly as much, like, fussing and crying as she was doing it the last like month or so that I've been using an actual toothbrush. Before that, I was using a towel with toothpaste um, to go in and wipe off her teeth. But now we're actually brushing them for the last like month and a half or so. And um, yeah, she's getting more used to it. So even though, you know, she doesn't love the hair washing thing, I'm gonna try to make it as comfortable as I can for her. But, um, you know, it's gotta be done. She'll get, she'll get more and more used to it. She's shaking the tripod again. <laughs> okay, um, and the other thing is, I'm not gonna like show the process of me washing her hair. I'm actually probably gonna feel a little about it. Um, I need to like focus in on her. She's gonna get upset and stuff like that. Um, so I need to do it as quickly as I can. Focus in on her. Yeah, but I am probably going to record a reel. But uh, we're about to take the party downstairs. 
Um, and we'll be back after her hair is washed. So Adam's hair is washed. We are all done with that. There's no rhyme or reason to her little twist. I just put her hair in twist after it is um, washed and conditioned and all the products are added just to hold the moisture. And that's how she'll sleep and then I style it the next day. Yeah. <laughs> but it is getting long enough to where she could wear it in the twist like this. So, I like it. Give me a kiss. Mwah. I love you. You survived. She screamed, of course. It doesn't last long, but she did scream while getting it done. Yeah. I want to get like a wash buddy or something like that. They're like $50. And I know that it will be very useful in a couple of years. But like, or maybe even when she's two, I don't know. Mm. Mm. Or maybe sooner than I think, but I don't think that it would be mm. useful now. So I'm not sure that I want to spend $50, but it is on the Amazon list. And you know what? Christmas is coming up. She's got plenty of grandparents and <laughs> aunts um, and uncles that want to buy her stuff. So I'll put it on the list. And we'll see if it is useful later. So all we're doing now is just chilling. She's watching her show. I just have it on pause right now. She's eating some puffs. And this is actually the little knickknack thing that I was talking about. I don't know if you can see it. This is the little knickknack uh, basket that I was talking about. So she's kind of playing with that. I've put them mostly back in there. Watching Akili and me. I'm gonna eat a sandwich. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a sandwich before dinner. Um, Jamarcus and I are gonna eat baked potatoes, like loaded baked potatoes for dinner. I'm sure we're gonna watch something. That'll be after Autumn is asleep. So um, yeah, it's 6.45. She'll be getting dinner at 7.15. That time will be about 8.15, 8.30. And that will be our day, so we'll be back for dinner. Um, so I can show y'all what she's eating for dinner. And actually, before we go, there's one more thing. I wanna show the other um, things that I was talking about as far as like what's in um, the playpen. So like, let's say I was putting her in here right now, I would take one of those out and just like let her play with that one or, you know, just two of them. But I would make space. So maximum, she would have like two of these baskets in here so that she can actually sit down in here and stuff like that. If you would have seen how it was before, it was like just kind of like in disarray. Um, you know, and I would just kind of organize the toys in here in sections, right? But not like in their own containers. So as soon as she would get in here, you know, she would just kind of throw everything everywhere. So this way... If she only has two baskets and two buckets, whatever you want to call them, in there with her, then she can only pull out, you know, that much stuff and she'll still have room to sit and not be like tripping over toys and stuff like that in there. So, hope that makes sense. We'll be back for dinner in a little while. Time. This is what Miss Autumn is having. <laughs> Looks real similar to her lunch, but that's because it's the end of the week, so some of the variety and fruit and all of that stuff she's already eaten up this week so she's grabbing daddy's home from work hey <laughs> only thing left for us to do today is for autumn to get her bath we're waiting on our food to come gonna eat dinner watch some tv and that's gonna be it i hope you enjoy spending the day with us today autumn can you say bye bye Bye-bye. She doesn't see a person, so she's like, who am I waving bye to? <laughs> All right, we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.